Hey guys, welcome back to Forever AG. Today I will be fixing up an Isabel Palmer doll who I will be taking from one of my friends. So let's see how this goes. So here is the doll. As you can tell, she's not in the best condition. <laughs> We're mainly going to be working with her hair and maybe doing some cleaning on the limbs. So here I have her all set up, and we're going to get started. As for this doll's hair, it was in pretty bad condition before, so I washed it and put some conditioner in it, and it's looking better, but I might do a second wash just to get it a little shinier and um, like a little softer. So here's my setup. I just have my sink and my shampoo and conditioner. And I have this towel here with her just to make sure that her body and her eyes and her cloth don't get wet. And the only thing that gets wet is this section of her hair. Remember never to get it too close to the top of her head because the wig is glued down and you don't want to loosen the glue with water. So yeah, I'm going to get started. So I'm just going to very quickly demonstrate my process. And so basically I just take this much of the hair, making sure not to get too close to the scalp, and just kind of dunk it in there, get it nice and wet, make sure the doll does not fall in because that would not be good. And also if your doll has nut springs, make sure that you keep those out of the water because that's not really the best thing to get wet. Not like anything bad will happen, it's just you don't want an extra wetness thing to worry about. Alright, so after that section of hair is completely wet, then you're going to take whatever shampoo or conditioner you're using. And it's best to use like a baby shampoo or, st or something that's made for wigs or anything like that. Just works a little better. And you're just gonna take the hair out of the water and just rub it in like so. So now, the next step is to brush out your doll's hair after it's somewhat dried off to get the rest of the water out and to make sure that your doll's hair doesn't dry like all clumped together with the water. So this process can take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, but yeah, basically just keep on brushing it. And if there's too much conditioner left over that didn't get washed out, like ha that just happened, you may want to um, wash it again to make sure that all of the conditioner or shampoo is thoroughly washed out so that it does not stay in your doll's hair for very long. So now that I'm all done washing and brushing her hair, as well as washing her limbs, she is pretty much done. And she's not completely perfect. 
because when she came to me, she was missing a lot of hair since she had been in a loving home for seven years. And so I won't really be, ever be able to get any of that back unless I decide to... Unless my friends decided they wanted to re-wig her or do something like that. So this is the best I could do with the wig that's still on her. And I think she turned out pretty good. So just before I show you the results, this is the part where the hair fell out a lot. And I don't know a lot about Isabel dolls. And that might just be where the extension goes in, but I'm pretty sure that the hair fell out there. So, out of the things that I needed to fix today, um, she didn't have very many, like, marks on her. There was a couple marks on her face, but I was able to get those all removed, which was good. And the only thing I really couldn't fix was this hairline. And I'm really not sure if that's supposed to be there or not. I'm assuming it's not, but I could be wrong. And yeah, I'll show you the back of her hair. Okay, so as for the back of her hair, I was able to tame it down quite a bit, and it's pretty smooth now. The only thing with the hair is, as you can kind of tell, there are these little curly things in her hair, which are the result of brushing through tangles. Most of the time, it appears towards the bottom, but it kind of has appeared throughout and that's probably just because she has been in loving hands for over seven years now and it's really just something that can't really change. So that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing if you have. And I'm so thankful that I was able to fix up this Isabel. And it's really taught me how maybe she's not what I've always thought of her. And she's a really beautiful doll. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time on Forever AG.